Thank you for coming in today. You're going to be experiencing what Dr. Weiner likes to call his liquid facelift. Um, what that means is as you uh, get older, some of the underlying structures in your face become smaller. So the fat pads, bone and muscle. So he's going to be working in areas where we have lost uh, some of the volume. What that does by replacing that underlying volume, it gives you a round or more youthful appearance. Um, also, as we age, the outermost layer of skin gets some etched in fine lines just from the aging process and sun exposure. So another filler he'll be using to help to target some of those more superficial etched in fine lines. Okay. So I'm very excited to get started. We've taken our, our pictures and uh, reviewed the consents, um, answered all the questions that you might have. So I met um, Dr. Weiner and you about eight years ago out at Seaside before you even started the aesthetic clinic. Um, I've been a patient here for the last few years and have been very pleased with all my procedures. I feel like um, I look very youthful but very natural. I've never um, had any discomfort or pain or side effects and I'm just very happy and pleased to be a part of this today. Well, thank you. Our goal is to um, help you maintain that youthful look um, while looking very natural, um, answering any questions that you might have as you um, are seeing some things as we age, and we're ready to get started. Okay. So, so thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Okay. So uh, I'm Dr. Steve Weiner from the Aesthetic Clinic in Santa Rosa Beach, Florida. And what I'm going to demonstrate today is what uh, has been called the liquid facelift. And uh, what that is, is it's using uh, filler, uh, Radius, Bellatero, as well as Zeomin to fill in um, the areas that have aged and make the face fuller without actually doing any incisions. It's all injected. And uh, in our model here, we see that uh, you have the typical aging in, in the temple area, which is a fat pad in the temple area that uh, um, shrinks as we age. And that fat pad is continuous uh, with the preauricular in front of the ear fat pad. And so there's also lots of volume there as well. And uh, the buccal fat area, which is this area here, you've also have a little loss of volume in that ends up having some of these lines that are associated with it. So these small etched in lines will fill from below as well as will we'll actually attack these lines with Bellatero, which is a great superficial uh, filler that's uh, recently been uh, FDA approved. And it's very unique because, because you can inject it superficially without seeing it, as opposed to the other fillers like Restylane and Juvederm, if you injected it superficially like that, you'd see it, you'd see it either blue or you'd see bumps. It's also great uh, Bellatero for the lip lines. Um, and she has been filled before, but she still has a little bit of uh, loss of volume underneath the eye area here and in the upper cheek, and we're gonna fill those. Um, she has some crow's feet, uh, frown line, some lines up here in the forehead that we'll treat with Zeomin, which is a brand new uh, neurotoxin or neuromodulator, which is similar to Botox or Dysport, but it's, uh, it's a brand new one that doesn't have an associated protein. So it's a purer form of the toxin than the other two. But overall, it's a very uh, comfortable procedure because we use a cooling device that cools the skin as well as the deeper tissues down so that it, it almost numbs the tissues. Um, so we'll start doing that. And, uh, what you'll see. As we're just filling the temple area up very slowly here. You doing okay? Mm -hmm. There's lidocaine mixed with this. <clears throat> so that's um, a syringe of radius in her temples, and it rounds them out. 
And what the whole idea here is the aging face becomes elongated and flat. And what you want to do with uh, fillers is make it more round. And that's what you want to try to recreate with fillers. So now I'm going to demonstrate the uh, blunt cannula technique uh, for the cheek area here. And here we make a little pilot uh, incision with a needle, but the rest is done with the cannulas. This is long, but it's uh, blunt. It has no sharp tips to it. And uh, so, and so then I bring it over here, and now I'm going to enhance her her cheek here. How you doing? Good. Better, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. This numbs up uh, basically part, almost half the face because there's a nerve right there that gets bathed with this filler that has uh, lidocaine in it. We've been using these blunt cannulas for uh, over two years now and it's almost exclusively what I do for filler. Again, as you can see, there's, there's really essentially no bleeding associated with this injection. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in the uh, preauricular area here. Get that a little bit fuller. Everything that you inject um, improves higher than the jawline, improves the jawline because just think about it, just lifting all the skin uh, up. So, um, and then I also go along the jawline as well. So anyways. Still doing all right? Mm -hmm. Good. And then I turn it around, and in the same hole, I can actually inject the buckle fat, too. Just wipe that for me. The buckle fat being in this area here. So through, through just two incisions, I've done the buckle fat, the preauricular, and the cheek area here. Okay, so um, we're doing this buckle area here. That's the ch lower cheek. We'll do the marionette's jaw a little bit, as well as the nasal labial. And then come back down, open up a little bit. and get the marionette in that same injection. And you see that's filled in there and, and our marionettes are filled in too. We need to do a little more fill here in the, in the left temple. So what I'm gonna do is actually demonstrate uh, a superficial injection with Bellatero with a cannula here. Um, because she's actually lost a little bit of bone in this uh, temple area as well. Fixing a temple area helps with uh, improving around the eye as well as the um, brow. It lifts that. So it's a it, it was neglected until very recently. And Jill just told me earlier that, that she didn't even feel the temple injection when we were doing this. So. This is just fine tuning these temples. You see it's not quite smooth there and all you do is you just correct that with the Bellatero. Her um, left temple was worse than the right one here. We just have to put a little bit over here. So there you go. That's, that's the temple injections. 
So right now we're going to attack some of these fine lines with the superficial Bellatero. I don't know, you can almost see the needle through the skin when I'm injecting this. You can almost see it right there. And you can't do this with any other filler, only Bellatero. She has some minor lip lines that this will help. Good. And it makes her lip more prominent as well, which everyone wants. I'll finish up on the lips. And all the while that I'm doing this, uh, Sandy here is cooling the skin, which helps with bruising, discomfort. Most of our patients have very little bruising. Bellatero sometimes bruises. And if there is any bruising, we have a laser called the V-beam which we tell people that they can come back complimentary the following day for a treatment that takes less than a minute and it improves their bruise so it only lasts for a day or two as opposed to a week. So again, we're getting this uh, cheek line. All right, so we're, we're almost done. Now we're just sort of doing the real fine tuning. We, we sat her up and took a look at things. But I just want to sort of go over uh, what has been done here. You can see the Bellatero has basically eliminated this cheek line. Um, her temple is now convex instead of concave. She has a nice strong cheekbone. Um, the jawline has been pulled up so it's much firmer down here. I want to give a little more definition to the posterior, the back end of the jawline, and maybe fill a little bit more in the cheek area here. Um, her lips are a little bit full, her, her crease along her chin is improved. We're just filling in. This back of the jaw, you lose volume as you get older. If you, if you go on my website, you'll see some diagrams. You just, the, jaw, the, jaw, the jaw just dissolved in the back area there. Turn you a little bit. Okay, so um, this is the injection. Uh, of the jawline, um, making it a stronger jawline. And what you do is you, uh, she's pretty numb, you fill in this back part of the jaw because it just dissolves as we get older. And what it makes is a nice separation between the neck and the jaw. Sometimes the neck becomes one with the jaw and we need to help that out with creating volume back here. There we go. We're all done with filler. Great. Um, result here in, in the temple area. You see there's no transition. That loss of bone was filled in with the Bellatero. We got a nice cheek, strong cheekbone, strong jawline. We filled in the loss here. This cheek crease was filled in with the Bellatero. A little bit fuller lips, but natural looking. They're not at, they're not, they don't meet you before uh, she comes through the door. <laughs> and uh, the, the nasal labial, we filled in the upper jaw here with the radius because you lose volume up here in the upper jaw. The, the jaw line is nice and smooth. The jowls have been pulled up by the filler up in this area so that the jowls have improved. Marionettes, she didn't have much after we were done with everything, but we filled that in a little bit as well. So now we're going to go with the Zeoman. And the Zeoman's going to go here in the frown lines, the crow's feet, 
the bunny lines in the forehead. Again, this is the uh, neuromodulator to help with wrinkles. So this is, the frown line is uh, four, five injections. The bunnies are right here and when you smile you create wrinkles up here so I just inject those like so and then the forehead and we'll be done. I uh, rub the forehead area so that the Zeoman gets distributed evenly along the forehead. I don't rub the other areas, just the forehead, because it's a wide muscle. But we're all done. So that, that's basically the liquid facelift. And you can see that there's no overt bruising. There is a little bit of swelling that she's going to have, and that's just part of it. But uh, for a day or two or three, she'll be looking perfect. And you have to work later today, don't you? Yes. <laughs> so right back to work. <laughs> All right. How's it feel? Feels good. Yeah. Feels yeah. Good. Yeah. All right. Thanks. So we're here, and we're about 48 hours after having your procedure, and uh, uh, you look great. Uh, okay. Tell me what your friends and family have been saying. Well, um, it's been um, a huge um, difference in my jawline. People notice that I have a jawline now. Um, they think I've cut my hair shorter because my brows are lifted and my eyes are more open. Um, so, and showing uh, my daughter pictures of me from literally 20 years ago, um, the structure is back into my face like it was 20 years ago. So with this uh, liquid facelift, I see that the jawline is nicer. The cheeks are lifted more, the temples are more rounded, the eyes are lifted, your lips are a little bit fuller. Um, there's minimal bruising, I mean you can expect a little bit, but mostly it's related to the uh, Bellatero, which is a superficial injection, so I said it was going to cause some bruising. We can get a, a, a laser treatment of that and that's going to go away real quickly. Okay. Um, so. Um, Tell me about what happened after the procedure. What did you do? Um, I basically went home, put a little powder and blush on, tousled my hair, and went to work. And my skin looked absolutely amazing. Absolutely right. Amazing. And you haven't had all that much swelling? Uh, no. And no. Not, and discomfort wise? None whatsoever. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty good for having nine, ten syringes of filler. Yes. Yeah. People could not believe that I was actually at work that afternoon. Yeah. That's great. That's <laughs> great. So. Uh, you highly recommend it? Very much so, yes. Yeah. It's it's changed, it, it's basically giving you a facelift in an hour or so. Yes, yes. Great. Perfect. Just to summarize what we did uh, on our procedure is we, we put uh, both Bellatero and Radius in the temple area. We put Radius in the upper cheek uh, under the eye. We put uh, Bellatero and Radius in the posterior jaw and into the jawline and we put some uh, radius into the nasal labial and marionettes. Um, we put some uh, Bellatero into the lips along the lip line to make it more defined and help with the vertical lip lines that she has. Um, and then we did Zeoman. Zeoman we did in the crow's feet. We did a brow lift with Zeoman and we put it in the forehead as well as uh, we put some Zeoman in the frown line here. So. Uh, Looks great. I'm very happy, very right. happy.